Hi everyone, welcome to my crazy frugal life. Tonight I am making some creamy chicken and rice. I have already added stuff into my pressure cooker. There is celery and onion, garlic, poultry seasoning, mustache, and the chicken. So we are going to put the lid on, make sure that that is that way down here to the menu chicken is number six so we want to go to there and then we just want to start all righty once this is done i'll take the chicken out and i will debone it and i will cook the rice and then mix everything together and i will show you our finished plates I wanted to show you guys what it does whenever it's getting up to pressure. There's that little button. Let's see. You can see the, the steam coming up. And as long as your seal's in right. It will do that. And it still says this. Once it gets up to pressure, then it will start the countdown of 20 minutes. Or 25. I think for chicken it's 25. I think. I could be wrong. While I'm waiting for the timer, I will take you guys with me. And I will let the dogs in. There's one. Hi. Beautiful. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's three. <laughs> Very growly today. And it does start at 20 minutes instead of 25. So it goes for 20 minutes and then I try not to release it because it's chicken. I don't know. It just kind of worries me with being chicken. So I release it after 10 minutes. So in 30 minutes, it should be good for me to take the chicken out to let it cool off so I could do it. So I will be back after that. Alrighty, hopefully this worked. It looks yummy. It looks like it cooked. Now, I've seen a couple of them that said that you needed to add butter because the way, like, whenever you cook rice on the stove, how it bubbles up to, to boil out of your pot, it will ruin your pressure cooker. But I didn't add it because I figured that maybe the chicken broth had enough of that and I was good. It doesn't look like it bubbled up at all. All right. That's actually really, really, really good. So we are going to add the chicken. Figured I'm not feeling the greatest in the world, so this might help with all the chicken broth and all the good yummies and, that are in there. I am going to add some more chicken broth. I put a very large can of cream of mushroom soup just to make it like a creamier deal, but it's like super duper thick. Alrighty, we have our plates made and this is what's left. This will be enough for one or two more meals. Yay! Total cost was $5.14. The chicken bones, I save in the freezer. Once I get enough, then I make my own chicken broth again with the chicken bones and I freeze them either in a zippy bag, but that's one cup each, or in ice cube trays and that way I have chicken broth at all times. I don't have to worry about buying it. So let's come over here and see what this guy thinks about how it turned out. So let's see how this is taste. Uh oh, that doesn't look like a good face. 
hit this. Yeah. This will be good. Okay. Two thumbs, one thumb. One thumb. One thumb. Oh, it's not two, but hey, that's good enough. All right, you guys. Tell everybody bye. Bye.